today we are learning the history of Marvel Comics, every title with a cover date of October 1964. Stanley was busy putting out 15 titles, and today we're going to learn about the nine superhero books published this month, starting with Amazing Spider-Man number 17. This is the 182nd Silver Age Marvel superhero comic, which started back with Fantastic Four number one, three years earlier. This is a key issue. It's the second appearance of the Green Goblin. And we have Steve Ditko cover and interior art. On the CGC census, we have almost 1,900 copies graded in all conditions. But there's 21 9.6s or higher for the super high grade copies. Heritage Auctions has sold almost 400 copies in the last 20 years. Here's the classic cover, 12 cents. Got the Human Torch as well in this story. Looking at the Overstreet Annual Price Guide, we can see the growth year by year in all conditions. And we can see this book has been a pretty slow climber, especially in low grades, not a lot of movement over the years. High grade, it has almost doubled in this time frame for unslabbed copies, graded raw 9.2. You can see we're now at $2,300 in the guide. And looking closer at the CGC census, there are seven 9.8s and 14 9.6s. There's also a bunch of the UK price variants graded and the highest being a 9.2. Also out on the stands this month, we have Avengers number nine. This was now being published monthly. And we get the first appearance of Wonder Man. This is now a key issue, but interestingly enough, he also dies in this issue. So it is the one and only appearance of the original Wonder Man. We also have Baron Zemo in this issue. Don Heck and Dick Ayer's art. This is the 15th most valuable first appearance of Marvel comic of 1964. Print run estimated at 200,000 copies on this book. CGC is now graded over 1,000 copies. Only seven 9.6s or higher. Very rare in super high grade. Heritage has sold 182. We did all the key characters of the Avengers on this cover. In the Overstreet Price Guide, in lower grades, the book has doubled over this time frame. And in high grades, the book has quadrupled, which has been a nice mover. And on the census, there is only one 9.8, six 9.6s, and no UK price variants graded at all of this book. Daredevil number four was on the stands at the same time. This features a Jack Kirby cover, cream white paper background, Daredevil still in his original yellow costume. And this is a major key issue. It is the first appearance and origin of the Purple Man. Print run estimated 200,000 copies of this book. CGC census has gone crazy for this book in the last few years. Now 1,200 copies graded, 16 9.6s or higher. Heritage has sold over 200 copies. In the Overstreet Price Guide, it's been a fairly slow mover. Low grade hasn't moved much at all in the last few years, but it's starting to pick up. And in high grades, the book has doubled in ungraded copies. On the census, there are four 9.8s, 12 9.6s, and no UK price variants graded at all. Also on the stands, Fantastic Four number 31. This is an early crossover uh, story with the Avengers. And we also got the Mole Man on the cover in the storyline. Black background cover done by Jack Kirby. Not many copies at all graded this book. Only 356. There's only five 9.6s or higher. And Heritage is sold only 83. So this is a surprisingly rare one on our list today. Overlooked. Very little movement in the price guide. This is a very affordable book. It has been stalled for years in low and high grades. It's only a $525 book in 9.2 raw. On the census, there are only two 9.8s, three 9.6s, only a few of the UK price variants graded, the highest being only an 8.5. Journey into Mystery 109 featuring the mighty Thor. This is an early X-Men crossover story. We've got Magneto and Scarlet Witch. Jack Kirby did the cover art for this one. CGC sense is starting to grow, 610 copies. Only five 9.6s or higher. Heritage 127 copies sold. It's been a slow mover in the recent years, but it has uh, had some movement in low grades. In high grade, it's gone up about 
two and a half times. In the uh, census, we have one 9.8 and four 9.6s. There is one UK price variant graded, and amazingly, it's graded a high 9.6. It's pretty rare to find those UK price variants in super high grade like that. Next on our list, we have Sergeant Fury number 11. And we always include this war title just because Sergeant Fury is connected to the superhero universe. So this has Chuck Kirby and Chick Stone cover art, Dick Ayers and George Russo's art interior. Very few copies graded of this book at all. Only 65 on the census, all grades. Four 9.6s or higher. Heritage is only sold 19. It's got a red background cover. Over street price guide, almost no movement at all. In 17 years, it has gone up $1 in lowest grades raw. High grade's done a little better, though it's been stalled for a few years. It has basically doubled in this time frame. There are no 9.8s of this book. There are four 9.6s and none of the UK price variants graded of this title. Next on our list is Strange Tales 125. This is now the 25th issue in a row featuring the Human Torch in solo stories, but we also get The Thing Appears in a Submariner storyline. And this has got Jack Kirby cover art, interior art by Steve Ditko, Dick Ayers, and Paul Reinman. Oh, and George Russo's. Print run estimated at 215,000 copies. Again, very few copies of this book, not considered a key issue, but it also features early Doctor Strange story. We've got 183 copies on the census, only eight 9.6s or higher. Heritage is only sold 36, very few. Cream white background cover on this book. In lower grades in the Overstreet Price Guide, the book has doubled over this time frame, but it has quadrupled in the highest grades raw. On the census, there's only one 9.8, seven 9.6s, only one in the UK price rate ever graded, and it's only a 5.5. One of the big books of the month is definitely Tales of Suspense 58. The team at Marvel came up with that. Uh, great idea. They thought, why don't we feature Captain America in this series, along with Iron Man? And of course, starting with next month, it would become official. They would both be in every issue. So in this issue, the two heroes battle. This issue also features second appearance of Craven the Hunter. And we have Jack Kirby cover art, print run estimated at 207,000 copies. CGC Census has really been growing lately on this one, 844 copies, but only four 9.6s or higher, super rare and high grade, 182 sold by Heritage in 20 years. Overstreet Price Guide in lowest grades has doubled in value, and in higher grades, it's more than tripled in price. There is only one 9.8 of this book, three 9.6s, a bunch of the UK price variants, but the highest being an 8.5 only. And also out this month, Tales to Astonish, number 60. And this is another iconic key book because look what we get. Two great stories for the price of one. We get Giant Man and the Incredible Hulk both featured in this issue here. And this would be a double feature book now, month by month. And the Hulk had his first solo story since his own title was canceled about a year and a half ago. We have Jack Kirby cover art, Dick Ayers and Steve Ditko interior art. Only 383 copies graded by CGC, seven 9.6s or higher. Heritage sold 70. Overstreet Price Guide, very affordable book in lower grades. It hasn't moved up much at all in the really low grades. In high grades, the book has roughly tripled in price. There are no 9.8s existing of this at CGC. There are seven 9.6s, only a couple UK price variants, the average being a 5.2. There are no high grade copies at all. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare all these superhero books on the stands all at the same time and look at the CGC census and compare them for rarity and uh, see which books people are really hunting after and getting graded and which are the rare ones. So the first thing we notice that there's no real big winners on this list, but definitely in the lead, Amazing Spider-Man 17 has almost 1900 copies graded. After that, it's Daredevil 4 and Avengers 9. And after that, the numbers really start dropping quickly. Sergeant Fury being the lowest, of course, at 65. After that, Strange Tales 1825 only has 183 copies graded in all conditions. That's very low. At the top end of the census, we found that Sergeant Fury 
and Tales to Astonish 60 both do not have a single 9.8 copy graded. And if we look at general high grade in total, yes, Spider-Man 17 wins for the most super high grade copies. Uh, also rare is we've got, again, Sergeant Fury only has four 9.6s. And Tales of Spence 58 only has four copies grading 9.6 or higher. So that gives you an idea of just comparing these books on the census to see which ones are the ones that everybody seems to want and which are the books that the collectors and dealers are avoiding. So there you go. October 1964 cover date at Marvel Comics. We do this every week. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.